Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you could strum through a song called Adore You by Miley Cyrus. And we're going to start on a C major chord, and we play C major. First finger goes to the B string on the first fret, the second finger goes to the D string on the second fret, and third finger goes to the A string on the third fret. And if you strum the A string to the high E string, that sounds a C major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the C, we're going to be going to an F major chord. We'll talk about a really easy way to play this. You know the bar F major, you do your first finger across the entire first fret, second finger on the G string, second fret, third finger on the A string, third fret, and the pinky on the D string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an F major bar chord that sounds really, really heavy. But if you're just starting out, a good substitute for that is something called F major 7. You can play F major 7. First finger goes to the B string on the first fret, second finger goes to the G string on the second fret. And the third finger goes to the D string on the third fret. And if you strum the D string to the high E string, that sounds an F major chord or F major seven. It sounds really, really happy <laughs> in a groovy way. <laughs> and then from the F, we're going to be going to an A minor chord. We play A minor. First finger stays on the B string, first fret. Second finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret. And third finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an A minor chord. It sounds really sad. It bring tears to your eyes. That's a lot of our song actually, it's just kind of like working that C major, F major, A minor progression. And a lot of times with a song like this though, to make it more interesting, I like adding something called a strum pattern. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. And this would be really slow for this tune, but if we tried that a lot, we'd have C, down, up. applying that to, to our, our verse chorus is we end up on the C with our whole pattern and then the F and the A minor don't last quite as long so you may want to do just a down down up on each of those chords. So we have C down pattern I would think about using through the song though is something called a 16th note strum pattern. And what I mean by that is if you're tapping your foot to the B, right now our down, down, up, up, down, up is dividing that beat into two parts. One, two, one, two, one, two, and that's called an eighth note. What a 16th note is is where you divide that beat into four parts. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And one of my favorite 16th note strum patterns is a long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. And what I mean by that is if you take the C and do it down for four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, that's what you're doing on the first beat. Then on the second beat, you're doing a down on one, down on three, up on four. So you're going one, two, three, four, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. But then on the third beat, you're doing an up on two, down on three. So you're going one, two, three, four, one, up, down, one, up, down, one, up, down. And then on the last beat, you're going down, up, down, up, right along with the one, two, three, so down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So all together, you got down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. And what can sound a lot like the recording is to do that C with the whole pattern. And then we get to our F key, just the long down, 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 up on each chord. Yes, you have down. to the song too is bass notes and a lot of times on that first down of the down down up up down up or the down 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 up up down 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 you can put a bass note for the chords on the c chord you have the a string for your bass if you're using the bar f major you have the low e string for your bass on the f major seven you have the d string for your bass and on the a minor you have the a string for your bass so if we tried that with kind of a bass down up up down up we'd have c with an a bass down up up, down, 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 down
down I'm thinking about the knee bass Down I'm seeing the knee bass Down to that too. You know, see the name bass, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, 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 bass, down, 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 through the tune though, especially in the, end of the verses, where you hear the A minor almost kind of stop. And you may want to kind of do kind of a down with the right hand and kind of kill the strings, kind of putting it down on it. So you have kind of an F chord and then kind of work some stops on the A minor. So you may want to think about adding that to it too. And then we'll basically be repeating that progression until we get to our bridge part. And on our bridge, we start on the F, but then we go to a D minor chord. When we play D minor, first finger goes to the high E on the first fret, second finger on the G string on the second fret, and then the third of the fourth finger on the B string on the on the third fret. And if you strum the D string to the high E string, that sounds a D minor chord, and it sounds really, really sad. And the D minor doesn't last very long, and then we go right back to a C chord. So that's basically our bridge progression, is kind of that F, D minor, C. So if we're going to do that with down, down, up, up, down, up, you may want to do just the first down on the D minor and then hit the C for your down, up, up, down, up. You kind of split the strum pattern that way. So you'd have the F with the down, down, up, up, down, D minor, down, C, down, up. for the D minor would be the D string on the guitar. So you'd have an F with a bass, down, up, up, down, D minor with a bass, C, B, down, up, up, down, F with a bass, down, up, up, down, up, D minor with a bass, C, down, up, up, down, F with a bass, down, up, up, down, D minor with a bass, C, down, up, up, down, up. Or if you're doing it with the 16th pattern, we'd have enough time to do the first down on the D minor in the first same way. And then we go to the C for the down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down. It's going to be a little weird, so you have kind of a down, down, D minor, C down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down. So we tried it that way, we'd have the bridge with the F. Of how you could strum through Adore You by Molly Cyrus. Good luck! <laughs>